John Horse, you in the building? What the fuck up, bro? What you motherfuckers going? Oh, shit. I ain't gonna be in the building long. I just know what I'm saying. want to answer a couple questions and speak a little bit of my mind. Listen, man, we, we got to have a real conversation real quick. Nick Cannon is coming out now, and he's saying that he's saying that um, uh, black people are calling him a sellout because he because he apologized. So now he's playing this victim mentality. He's he, he's bl- he's kind of uh, throwing black people under the bus. What are your thoughts on that, man? This motherfucker ultimately is doing his job. It's to deceive us. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got me fucked up this week. You know what I'm saying? Truth shall be laid like a motherfucking brick this motherfucking week. Y'all got shit fucked up. Allen Iverson, you got shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with that kumbaya shit. Hey, hey man. Virgo, I love you. Shout out to you. But you still ass motherfucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? Well, hop off the motherfucking podcast and go make a motherfucking goddamn video while we doing shit. We all men, bro. We all men, bro. Anything that needed to be said, it could be, it, it could have been said. With that being said, I love you. But I'm, I'm, I'm on some unapologetic shit this week, man. Fuck that nigga. That part. We love, nigga. Real. Uh, I'm not fucking off, bro. I, I'm just pissed off, bro. Nick Cannon, bro, he out. You know what I'm saying? If you support Nick Cannon, anything that that motherfucker do, I don't give a fuck about that nigga playing victim. You think you finna dog? This if y'all go back to the Buffalo Soldiers and see what their job was to do against black people like you here in America, you'll see what the fuck I'm goddamn talking about. This shit go deep. If you talking about you want to open up your fucking eyes, open them motherfuckers up. I'm gonna make you open them up this week. And 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 in the live chat said uh, we called him a sellout because he played woke. You goddamn right. Shout out to Ms. Ann. Because like I said, all this sticky shit in the in-between shit, we done figured it out. You know what I'm saying? You pussies got to go. You think it like, no. You know what I'm saying? Your Beyonce's, all that shit. When this shit over with, it be no more of them. You understand? We ain't buying no CDs. I'm letting all you celebrities know because I know you pussies be fucking watching. But, but. You understand? So with that being said, hit the fucking like button. Fucking pussy. But see, look, John. This is what I'm saying. It like this. This is the thing. Well, I know the creator is real because I know somebody created me. Whether it be a divine being or a fucking reptilian, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Also, Prometheus shit. Somebody created me. I know the creator is real. But I, I cherish my creator because my creator blessed me with discernment with self-awareness like we said you know it's not about waking up it's about reconnecting with your soul it's about being aware awareness self-awareness is i mean that's god tier when it comes to uh, 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 characteristics like positive traits you know what i'm saying um now now, now now he got you got bitch ass niggas on the internet that say things like, I just want to see, I, I don't agree with Nick Cannon apologizing, but I want to see what he does next. Now, when you have discernment, you're kind of like Neo in the Matrix. You can see the future. When you have, the, when you're self aware and you actually pay attention to the patterns of how people uh, maneuver in, in, this, in this simulation, then you, you, you can see the future. You can anticipate what they're going to do before they even do it. That's why I cancel people the first time they do some, the first time they cross a certain line. The first, if, cause if you're going to cross a certain, a certain line, like that line of honor. If you're gonna step over, if you're gonna step over that line of honor, you're gonna do it again. Now, for all the bitch ass niggas on the internet that are saying, "Well, I want to see what Nick Cannon does next." Here's next: Nick Cannon is doing a Cannon's class with a fucking motherfucker from the Jewish community. What are your thoughts on that? Man, my motherfucking thoughts is: first of all, you y'all all got your shit backwards. 
What I mean, you got your shit backwards, and and this, this goes out to your pharaohs, uh, uh, your fucking pilot bosses, and all this shit. Your kundalini is upside down, you dumb fucks. You understand? The shit start with water. Our gifts are given to us. Our emotions, our intuition are given to us. You understand? They fall like rain. They fall like water. But you got these dumb motherfuckers who got the kundalini upside down and they starting from fucking fire. And then they want to fall because you want to be over some shit. I'm not fucking with y'all this motherfucking week. We going to get real in-depth in the shit. The kundalini itself. Go look at the kundalini tree. It's upside fucking down. This is how deep these motherfuckers in the game goes. Even by this pussy ass nigga apologizing. It's all part of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all time lined out. Because that's all these stupid blind motherfuckers know. You understand? But us who, who indulge in mystery and intuition, we know what the fuck going on. That's why we on some burn y'all ass this shit this week. We not with that shit this week. You can kill as many fucking rappers and all that shit as you want to. Keisha Bottom, your ass ain't getting the fucking attention. You understand? You got me fucked up. Y'all talking about vice president and all that shit. See, you motherfuckers got it fucked up. What y'all think y'all gonna do is, y'all think y'all gonna keep on uh, 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 continuing in y'all agenda. You know what I'm saying? And in the background... Talking about how fucked up we is and trying to discredit the truthers. You know what I'm saying? The people who want nothing but the truth. Y'all still, but y'all still gonna continue with y'all agenda like we ain't being heard. But stupid motherfuckers, we being heard. Keisha Bottoms, your ass ain't gonna make it. Look at your name, bitch. Fucking Ann said uh, his documentary must be ready for sale. Um, you know, I feel like, I personally feel like Nick Cannon is controlled opposition, but I feel like at the same time he was trying to build up his real nigga resume. Huh, Loki? I feel like, I feel like he was trying to build up his real nigga resume. He was trying to get loyalty from the black community. He was trying to get some, some, uh, hotep points. You know what I'm saying? And, and once again, it backfired. Yeah, exactly. That nigga had a fucking glitch. In his DNA, what he did, what he did was he <laughs> lit, he lit up intuition in his DNA, and this is real physical shit. You understand the 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 the, the shit that we've been through is in our DNA. You understand? This is why y'all look at us and be like, oh, that conspiracy theories and all that other shit. No, our intuition guides us. Our intuition has been given to us by the Holy Creator. You understand? The person who y'all fucking following is blind as a motherfucker. Y'all call him God. You understand? But he ain't got no answers for your dumb asses. You understand? This is what I be motherfucking... I, I, I'm just fucking pissed off at. Because this motherfucking niggas like Nick Cannon, who sit up there and they play this fucking goddamn role to the T, to where it... The only thing that matters... Is, 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 is the discussion of everybody about the message. Nobody got the message. You know what I'm saying? We talking about the messenger. You understand? Like he's of importance or something. You ain't seen in the goddamn 300 where that nigga kicked the shit out of the messenger and put his ass in the pit. That's what the fuck we doing this week. Get the fuck out of here. This is far talk. Hold on, John, John Horse. Your boy Aunt Parker in the live chat. Let me let me let me make sure I quote him right. Uh, your boy Ant Parker in the live chat. He said, "My guy always got that fire." You got damn right. And how wide to the Holy Creator? You know what I'm saying? It's just like I said. It's the injustice shit. You know what I'm saying? That that lights me. You understand? Cause I know this shit is all backwards. This shit is all fucking backwards. So motherfuckers can come at me and ask me any goddamn thing. We're going to have a conversation. You might be right. I might be wrong. But at the end of the day, we're going to get an overstanding. Because I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm sick of the bullshit. We play too many games pointing out this celebrity and this celebrity and all this other bullshit. They not even important. They fucking pedal stools to me. I'm a fucking god. And I feel like everybody needs to walk that way. 
know what I'm saying? Get that confidence in you. Because you are. You are. You know what I'm saying? They told you yourself. You feel me? You are the, you are the image of him. You understand? Even though they shit is fucked up, bro, it's knowledge everywhere. It's education everywhere. But what people have to do is connect their own fucking dots and get their own view of shit. You understand? And the whole, and the, and the most important thing, don't push your view on anybody else. You know, uh, people gotta find out for themselves, bro. I think I think that the the major difference though between Nick Cannon and Allen Iverson, even though they are battling right now for the coon of the week, I think the the major difference is, you know, uh, when I, I was older, like I think I'm, no, nah, I'm not older than Nick Cannon. It's crazy. Like Nick Cannon is older than me, but he like a he like a little nigga to me. Like I don't know how to explain it. And then, but when Allen Iverson, you know, I grew up watching that nigga on TV, so it was kind of like I looked up and admired Allen Iverson. But you know, growing up, I I didn't even you know Nick Cannon was like a little nigga to me. But they but it, it's it's ironic that they both are caving in to the same exact social. Um, pressure if you want to call it I, me personally i don't think it's any pressure at all either you're a boss or a worker if you're a boss you can say what the fuck you want to say when you want to say it and whatever comes that's what comes so you know you know my whole thing is i think it's interesting that it's two different types of people uh, so many people idolize and and, and 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 have so much respect for um alan iverson that necessarily might not even like Nick Cannon, you know, or there might be people that like Nick Cannon but don't like Allen Iverson, but I think it's interesting that they're both going through the same exact thing, they're both apologizing for the same exact thing, and it just shows you that, the you know, the, these motherfuckers is worth multi-millions of dollars, but they, they're not bosses, they haven't created an, inf an infrastructure for them to be able, you know, for them to have the ability to say, what to speak their mind. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. It's a fucking ritual. A, humil a humiliation ritual. You understand? All of them. In some type of form or fashion. You understand? Because now, now they're going to be begging for jobs. Now they're going to be talking about how they so much improved and all this other shit. Man, I'm, I'm done with that shit. You understand? And it's on you so-called black people to not endorse these people. Because that, they got to know where the real money come from. They got to know where their paycheck really come from. Because it don't come from them people who they up does. You know what I'm saying? I really want to call them what I want to call them. But I'm not going to drop the F-bomb. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to drop the F-bomb. But they are really F-bomb material. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the simple fact. I, I both of y'all going through the same thing. Y'all celebrities now. You understand? We everyday people. You know what I'm saying? And we don't we don't go through shit like that. I'm gonna tell you why. Because you stupid motherfuckers, when y'all signed the multi million dollar contracts, y'all set up here and put a front. Just like they operate. Y'all put a front out there. Hey, I'm this person, I'm that person, just like you said in your bullshit ass apologies. Yeah, hey, I'm this person. But we know as truthers and conspiracy theory people that your ass was in the background sucking dick doing other shit, you know what I'm saying? Living it up, you faggot fucks, you know what I'm saying? And you thought it was all good. Allegedly, you, you, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. 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 Think we're going to have to turn that into a fucking TV, like a little intro for like a... Con allegedly. Like a sitcom. Like, <laughs> like, like a drop, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man, it's just a whole simple fact that now that y'all shit is coming to light. You understand? Now you so shame, you rather take a humiliation ritual, or, or you rather commit suicide, or your ass, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you rather have them motherfuckers kill you. You know what I'm saying? That That's how deep your ass in this shit. You understand? You, to the point that you still gonna deceive us to the day that you die. You understand? Because you worry about your reputation. You worry about that. Look, all I care about is the truth. I don't give a fuck if you, you was with Jeffrey Epstein on the, on the goddamn plane. Vindicate yourself. Tell the truth. Tell what all happened. Yes, you guilty, but tell what all happened. You understand? This is what I'm getting at. Y'all done live these private lives, and this is what y'all are running from. We are everyday people. We have to deal with our shit head on. You understand? 
So even, even when we do some dirt or some shit like that, it's not easy to hide. But you, you, you motherfuckers use this imaginary shit called money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fucked up. And, and that's what y'all lean on at the end of the day. It's not emotions. It's not what the people think. It, it's about your money. And then, every, and then y'all got everybody so fucked up. Y'all got everybody thinking about your money. And they ain't getting a piece of it. They ain't getting one piece of, of your money, but they worried about your career. Just like Kaepernick. I fuck Kaepernick. You understand? Everybody worried about him playing some goddamn football. But in the meantime, y'all don't see how goddamn Cam Newton them fucking got shitted on with a bullshit-ass contract for a former MVP, a black man, who went to the Super Bowl during Black History Month. But the game so cricket, they ain't let him win. They let the Bronco win. They let the Cowboy win. But look, you got with the whole oh, Cam Newton, with the ca- but look, with the Cam Newton situation, you can't say he got shitted on if he accepted that contract. Oh no, I no, I, I trust me, he's guilty too for accepting the contract. You know what I'm saying? It's shit like that. You should stand up for shit like that. That was your uh opportunity to say, look, man, I'm a former MVP. I done took my team to the Super Bowl. I brought them out of the abyss. Like, bro, I'm worth more than this. Shout out to Dante Freeman, the running back from the uh, uh Atlanta Falcons, who has decided to sit down because nobody don't want to pay him what he's worth. We have to get the motherfucking shit straight. You understand? If you have the power in your hand, notice it and take advantage of it. Like right now, these motherfuckers want us to all go back to work and everything with all this bullshit going on. Guess what? I got the power to say, fuck you, sit on my ass. Because unemployment came in. So fuck you. Shout out Human Shadow, welcome to the channel, Humane Shadow, uh, they say, but they was not saying none of that when, when, uh, when they was sucking their dick for checks. Um, Air Whitey says, uh, shout out to Lante, he says, Cam Newton would be wearing weave, like who raised two motherfuckers? Um, and then Humane said, NFL is nothing but politics behind the scenes. Yeah, man, there's no, there's no... I just feel like this this whole like it you know I was saying earlier what what do we want do we want freedom or do we want um compliance you know what I'm saying it's, it that seems like that's the only choice I now. want I want them motherfuckers to fuck off leave me the fuck alone and let me indulge in my sovereignty while I'm still here you understand? But other than that, you mess with my sovereignty, it's gonna be a problem, Ella Iverson. It's gonna be a problem because guess what? I have a voice. So I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say something. And that's what's crazy. They don't understand that collective motherfuckers, even individuals, they have their voice. You understand? Just imagine five, four motherfuckers talking like me at the same goddamn time right now. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, you look at the stock market, Allen Iverson uh, shit done fell a couple of points. This is how this shit works. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what happens when Nick, when a whole bunch of niggas sound like John Horse at the same time. It sound like, uh, it sound like you know, genocide. Straight motherfucking genocide. You understand? For real. You understand? I'm, I'm like I said, like 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 we come to slaughter all you motherfuckers. What what was like, that? What was that? What was that genocide? Uh, Rwanda or some shit like that. Nah, it was actually with the little Jewish shit with with Hitler and the Germans and shit. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers who y'all was man, look, I'm I'm gonna say it just like this. Y'all might get mad. Hopefully, my boy don't get no strike. But Hitler was killing the right people. Hitler was knocking off the right people. The people who was claiming your shit. All right, hold on, John. Hold on, John. Hold on. You gotta slow it down. We we heard. They heard you. We gotta slow that shit down, though. <laughs> All right. I got you. God. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna go too far. But Allegedly. You know <laughs> Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? The story goes deep. You know what I'm saying? I just try to tell people, what if the bad guy was actually the good guy? What That's... if the Joker mm. was supposed to whoop the Batman's ass? People don't think about it like that. You understand? Because we are given perspectives. You should have your fucking own. Now, am I for Hitler? No. Oh. But at the same time, knowledge is knowledge. It helps you move forward. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to connect my own dots. 
And I'm going to have an opinion at I, the end of the day. I know one thing, man. That, that motherfucker made me feel like I was at church, man. That man that man told me that I was a jewel of God. My mother never even told me nothing like that. That's real shit. That's because that motherfucker knew the ancient history. When that nigga got, he fucked right. Because see, people got to understand, Germany is a collective uh, uh, group of, of states. You know what I'm saying? Of poor people who, who just rebelled against the goddamn Romans. Uh, A.K.A. The, Grit uh, the, the, the British Empire or, or the Crown, however you want to call it. These people were kept up under submission, but they knew, you know what I'm saying, dealing with that little canal that they have right there in between Africa and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, that's what it's all about. It's about them ports. It's about goods shipping in and out. It's, all, it's always been about commerce. But once these people established that, hey, we taking over this part and then we taking over more, you know what I'm saying? That's when they stepped in. Because of the simple fact, like I said, the dude had too much motherfucking power. People don't actually look at what was going on. He was trying to retake over the world. Some shit that you, that's virtually impossible. You know what I'm saying? But he said, it's bad people in this world. Some shit like Trump was trying to do. I'm not on no Trump side, but I'm just saying. you trying to take back the power that, that, that these motherfuckers took, basically. You're in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's all these motherfuckers saying is that you in the wrong and don't say I have a right to fight for what I have the right to fight for. That's what Hitler was ultimately saying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing it for who I think are my people. And the people who you claim are your people, they got to go by any means necessary. Now that's some Malcolm X shit. You understand? Oh, that's real shit, man. Um, I did want to shout out that live chat for rocking with us. You know, the channel is growing. We are a small platform, but the reach is enormous, and we have a lot of support from, um, you know, everybody up in that live chat, man. Shout out uh, Doogie54, a.k.a. Mr. Google himself. Shout out Miss Ann. Hey, shout out Miss Ann411. You know, she's famous in these YouTube streets. Shout out she to really Google. Is, man. She really is. She just don't know, like... I love her video. I yeah. fuck with her video. Like, bro, they are eye openers like a motherfucker. You seen Boobie? I seen Boobie the other night. Yeah, you know, we, we was talking shit. Um, shout out Humane Shadow, like I said. Shout out Air Whitey, a.k.a. Delante. Uh, definitely uh, shout out Shanice in, in the live chat. Um, so, you know, everybody's vibing with us, rocking with the conversation, man. You know, I, uh, shout out Ann Parker as well. He came through. But, you know, my thing was when I saw Alan Iverson, um, I think it was on his content creator. His name is GMOG Media TV. You know, the fact that Alan Iverson, he didn't, eat another, another person, that an individual, he didn't say a word. He took a picture with Farrakhan in 2017, and he posted it. He just, you know, he posted it recently again, two days ago. And, yeah, I guess, I mean, in this whole social media, you know, everything triggers me era that we live in now. Yeah, I guess that's bad timing. But when you're a real nigga, there is no such thing as bad timing. You you create your own time, dimension, space, all that shit. Am I right or wrong? You are absolutely right, because that's what we're doing right now. Because they tried to bring that bullshit-ass energy into play. And guess what? Now it's getting super slapped right fucking now. It's getting dumbed down right fucking now. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how many people are viewing. It's the people who going to view it. You understand? Because all they need is a little bit of taste of this shit. And guess what? They interest going to change. Like I said, that's old-ass motherfucking magic. You bring up a picture of a, 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 a Farrakhan-ass nigga who, who, who goddamn suspect his goddamn self, who, who a leader of a fucking nation who ain't got no goddamn land. Where you at, brother? Where you at? You understand? John Horse, you got to say that again, man. I don't think, I don't... John Horse, you got to say that again, man. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. so you got to say that again. Exactly what you just how said. The fuck you, how the fuck is you a leader of a nation that don't have no land? You don't even have no water. So you are not into place. When it comes to the law of the land and the law of the sea, this is where this shit begins, y'all. This is where I tell y'all everything has been documented. And the shit that we are finding out is because of intuition. But this is the shit that they've been trying to hide. This shit, that I'm telling you, it goes back to the Egyptian pharaoh days when the motherfucking uh, 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 goddamn pharaohs was white. A lot of people don't know it was white pharaohs. That's because these black motherfucking goddamn Spain moors went into fucking hiding and called themselves priests. 
you understand, and controlled the world and, and, and did that shit like that. But the whole thing was, like I said, this shit all it, it all goes back to Rome. If y'all look at the world, like I said, the world is, is is upside right. You understand? We are the original continent. You understand? If you go look at the story of Yasmir, you understand? It will tell you about Alaska. It will tell you about the North. It will tell you about the Twa people. You understand? Everything comes from America. America is still, still the only continent, Garden of Eden, you know what I'm saying? Turtle Island is the only continent that can grow and have everything that we need producing every that's why that, that's the big secret this, why everybody want to come over here but y'all keep pointing shit over there to the desert land as of of africa bro we we been over there we came and, and we laid plants over there yes we let them know where civilization was but they took advantage of it you know what i'm saying and called it the motherfucking goddamn currency system and involved money this shit goes back to the mongols you know what i'm saying we came with the barter system, man. We love peace, abundance, services. I do this for you, you do this for me. That's real shit, man. You know, I always wanted that, like... You know, I feel like I, I feel like you know I feel like a lot of black people they keep it real with themselves, but I feel like a lot of white people don't keep it real with themselves. I mean, I was you know I was arguing with somebody in my comment section, and they over here talking about how how are white people savages? I'm like, bruh. <laughs> you said you celebrated Thanksgiving this year, right? <laughs> bro, you feel me? Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole simple fact, like, bro, you want to this is like the MAGA hat. You motherfuckers still want to you know what I'm saying? You've seen a great perspective. We have never seen a great perspective. You know what I'm saying? This is the difference. You know what I'm saying? You you served your indentured servitude or your your grandparents did that or your your great great uh, ancestors did that. They served their indentured servitude for you to have what you have now. But it, it was on the basis of deceiving the people who already lived here. This goes back to the Roman church. When they said if they don't know which is black people, if they don't know, then run the fuck over them. That's how it basically goes. You know what I'm saying? So black people who still claim in Africa... You know what I'm saying? We can't go to court. We can't go to the UN or none of that shit because we haven't claimed our rightful land. They fucking know, you know what I'm saying, that we, we are from here. And they're like, well, as long as they don't know, we still got it. You feel me? My whole thing is, white people, it's on you to do your own research. And why you get so goddamn offended right. by a bitch calling you savages and all that right. other shit. Look, man, I, I, re, I retrace my roots. And it looks beautiful. The way I explain it, it looks beautiful. You have to do it on your own and, and explain your shit in a beautiful way. I can't help that you came from where you came from or you was treated how you was treated. You understand? I ultimately tell pe white people that you came from the tribe of Tamu. You are the original African American. You understand? People got to go into their motherfucking roots. Because guess what? I try to tell people Africa was the, the like, like the, this is physical shit. The, the ocean moves in, in the vortex. So when we went to Africa, we we used that as a science ground. You know what I'm saying? For the, to, to create and, and, you know what I'm saying, spread our culture. You know what I'm saying? Spirituality. This is how you got the Dogon people who are waiting on us. You know what I'm saying? They ain't waiting on no motherfuckers in the sky. We live in a dome. They waiting on us. Even the Portugal people told you that when Jesus came, this is their, their, their thought, that he came from the heavens. The heavens was considered the, uh, the the waters. You know what I'm saying? That was the sky above and the sky below. You know what I'm saying? That was the first place, if you look at it in the third dimensional realm, that's the first place where he landed. So these people are talking about, you know what I'm saying? And the whole thing is he didn't come by himself. He came with fleet. You know what I'm saying? This man was deep. You know what I'm saying? He rolled like the president. You know what I'm saying? And we, and we done knocked him down to a carpenter. Is that not how we treat our black men now? We knock him down the size? You know what I'm saying? They great men, and then we just knock them down the side. This is why a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, don't believe in the mythology of Jesus. But he was real. And I believe he was so real to the point that these motherfuckers got his body. But just to end what I was just to, just to end what I was saying. Just to end what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Black people, we have to realize that you have to stand up and you have to actually look around. It's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? You have to look around and actually see what's going on. Be in the present. Be in the moment, man. 
That's real shit, man. Um, shit, anything else you feel like, uh, you know what I'm saying, talking about before we get up out of here? Um, no, nah, man, I just, you know what I'm saying, uh, as far as, like, I, I, first of all, I always got to shout out our podcast. Shout out to the Straight To It podcast and everybody that was on the panel, Kurt, you know what I'm saying, I'm from the norm, you know what I'm saying, Virgo is a special fuck you because you did some pussy shit, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, you know how we rock, you know how we rock. So, you know what I'm saying? Just just, just take that. Like, did it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But um, other than that, man, I love the chat. I love everybody who support us. Like I said, John Horse, make sure you put in a channel. You know what I'm saying? Because they try to hide me. But this week, we just, we on some indigenous shit. Well, like, I'm on my indigenous shit. Like, we lit. Like, you want to know information or you want to argue. It don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want that smoke. All right, family, I think I'm going to get up out of here, too, man. Um, Definitely check out John Horse. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga him said, I just woke up. What the fuck did AI do? It's some bitch nigga shit. That's I got a boozy. That's some, some, some bitch nigga shit. Oh, John, why you here? Can you please tell, can you please tell Booby Hill, a.k.a. King Welfare, that, uh, that the earth is flat? Can you tell him that before we get up out of here? Oh yeah, man. The earth. The, not only is it flat. It, it not only is it flat. It's a watery. It's a watery type shit. It ain't even stable. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the only thing stable is this thing we call fatherland. But like I said, you got to get into the indigenous science to understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, the earth is definitely it, it, it's flat. It's a realm. It's a it's a place. I mean, it's not flat like cardboard, but it's a watery substance. Like I said, water was here first. I mean, you got to understand that. So with the water and the fire, that created land. And the fire of the water, like I said, that shit is in the Bible. Shit, but I ain't got to, Booba, just do your research. Stop acting like an asshole. All right, man. We're going to keep y'all updated, man. We're going to keep y'all posted. You know, I try to make at least one video a day because, uh, you know, you guys support me and, and my fellow uh, Straight to a Podcast brethren. Um, we going to keep y'all posted, man. Allen, I Allen Iverson is apologizing. We know LeBron James apologized to Sean Jackson within the last two weeks. That's four niggas already. That's four niggas already in the last... Well, LeBron apologized a while ago, but within the last three... With, within the last week, a week and a half, that's three niggas. Multi-millionaires. That lets you, that, that lets you know the boule is real. You understand? And let me ask everybody else a question. Why haven't you seen your celebrity? You understand? I stand strong. It's a 45,000 45, people indictment. You know what I'm saying? Sealed indictment. That's going around and people is going down for uh, for different crimes while y'all are up here talking about corona and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's just my opinion. But this is why we haven't seen these celebrities. That's why they dropping like fucking flies. If you really pay attention, a celebrity is dying a day. You understand? That's all I'm saying. All right, family, we about to get up out of here, man. Definitely. Oh, hello, uh, Loki. Hello. Whoa. My mama wanted to say something real quick. We finna go. We finna Ma go. Mama horse. Uh -huh. I was in Rhodes yesterday, and I heard this lady talking. Um, there was a lady in the health department, I think, down in Nassau County, just got fired because she was sticking the COVID sticks in water, and they was coming out positive for COVID-19. You, you heard that? That go right back to your papaya virus. That, like I told motherfuckers, when y'all letting them shit stick, that's what I'm saying. She wanted to make a point. She put the water, she put the tube in water, and it came back positive. I told motherfuckers, I say, man, it's already Corona. It's already COVID nineteen on those on those sticks. You know what I'm hey. saying? And just the fact that people wearing fucking masks. You know what I'm saying? And poisoning their goddamn immune system. You know what I'm saying? That, but. I'm, I'm, I, we ain't gonna go, I'm, I'm sorry, Loki, hey, but so we can go. Shout, shout out Mama Horse in the building, making her, the, the. <laughs> Look, I heard that, I heard some same shit like that. There was people waiting in line to take the test for, for the virus, right? And a whole bunch of people, they left. 
the whole bunch of people just left because the line was taking too long. They said the next day, they the, the, the medical examiners called them and they told them they had the virus. They told them they tested positive, but the people left. They never even took the test. That's because these that that's because the boule, the church people, these black college of uh, people, you know what I'm saying, they done got the fucking goddamn hood wrapped in. They listen, at the church Ma, listen, at the church what they is telling these people is y'all go down to these testing centers. We gonna make testing centers, we gonna get everybody y'all trying to give them that comfort. But I'm telling you our own black people, small politicians that's behind this shit and that's trying to kill us. Right. it up for mama horse man shout out mama horse pulling up to the last he said i got time today yeah yeah my like i say man one thing about it I, I try to have my whole family it's not just me that think like this from my mama to my kids you know what i'm saying if you're gonna be around me this is how i think this is how i flow you know what i'm saying and a lot of people know that and they accept that and that's how i roll man you know, you just got bitch made. You got you got bitch hearted niggas out here that feel like you're trying to force them to think how you think. No, I'm putting facts and evidence on the table. If you don't want to acknowledge this, then there's something wrong with you, and I can't be around you because you're only gonna drag me down. You know what I'm saying? Into that illusion. Yes. That that go back to the cult teaching the things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And people who scared of the coat get into the coat. Like I said, when they had a good body and it was a bad foot, they would cut off that foot. You understand? <laughs> Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> Don't talk about the magic go deep, man. But if you if you bad for the whole body itself, they gonna cut you off, man. You poison, man. It's it, it, it's a duality game. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is, I'm, I don't choose to play the duality game because I am all. I am I am what you want to be. You know what I'm saying? And then I know that now. You know what I'm saying? And people have to embrace that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see, family. Hop up in that live chat. What are y'all predictions? Who Who's going to come out next? Who's going to be talking about some... Uh, who's going to be sounding like Ruben Stuttered in 2020, man? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> y'all hop up in that live chat. Let me know who is who y'all think is going to be apologizing next. You know they digging dirt up on niggas from 10 years ago, man. This is the new era we live in. Uh, definitely like the video. Share this video. I repeat, you got to share this video whatever twitter instagram facebook whatever platform you can because there's people that need to hear this message and we need to build up this real nigga network man uh you know also the queens too man the kings and queens but uh john horse tell the people where to find you man and uh you know tell the people when they can expect another segment of uh, uh judge horse man social court uh how, how are grand rising you know what I'm saying? uh social court that's kind of special, so, you know what I'm saying, it, it's a moment thing, so when we have the time, you know what I'm saying, you know, we'll we'll hop up on it, but as far as, like, where the family, just put John Horse and make sure you put a channel, 
And my whole thing is, like I said, we're going to make a video. We're going to try to make a video every day. It doesn't matter. Um, my whole thing is it's about getting the message out there. It's not about the message. Don't, I don't give me no kudos. It's just like what Jesus said in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Don't worship me. You know what I'm saying? Worship inside of you. He was giving you a message that you are the power. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I just want to tell everybody, Grand Rising, keep your vibrations high. Don't believe in shit. You know what I'm saying? And have your own perspective about things. All right, man. Definitely had a great show. I want to shout out everybody in that live chat for rocking with us. Uh, I do want to say uh, shout out John Horse for pulling up and making time, man. Um, I don't know what's going on my computer. I should do some weird shit, man. Oh, that nigga dipped out. All right, man. Shout out John Horse. That nigga left. <laughs> that nigga didn't even say bye. That nigga just hung up. <laughs> All right, man. Low key about to get his crusty ass ready to go to work. Ah, shout out these 12 hours I'm about to put in, man. I'm about to wild out, nigga. I'm about to wild out on this motherfucking buddy, man. You hear me? So definitely share this video. Fuck Nick Cannon. Fuck Young Pharaoh. Fuck Alan Iverson. It hurts me to say that shit. And also, fuck, uh, fuck this Kid Cudi in it. Fuck Kid Cudi and Eminem. You know, Kid Cudi and Eminem are talking about, you know, people should be wearing a mask and all of this shit. I mean, how much how much evidence do you need, bro? Niggas, real niggas don't eat tomatoes, man. I'm sorry. Real niggas do not eat tomatoes, man. And y'all niggas is eating tomatoes with no seeds in them. <laughs> niggas said, you fucking dog head bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. I didn't press some shit. Alright, share this video. Share the video. Share the video. Share the video, please. This is my sorry for 2020. And I ain't gonna cool no more this year. I think. <laughs> Fuck all these niggas, man. What Loki T been saying from the beginning? Fuck every celebrity alive, nigga. Until one of these celebrities buy us some land and build us a military, we gonna treat them like some motherfucking uh, Rocky shit, man. What the, What was the nigga's name? I can't remember his name, man. But I remember what he said, though. If he dies, he dies. This nigga said, this nigga said tomatoes are flat. I'm done. The show is over, man.